Hello farmers, welcome back to Green Mountain Forest. As you can see, I just spent $248,900 on some land. It's time to move forward. Uh, I, yeah, I got the road kind of down to here, and yeah, when, I, I've said this before. When you're in the vehicle, the road, uh, yeah, the road, the land doesn't look as steep as it does, and, and then when you get out, it's like, oh, okay. Um, it's getting a little steep through here. Yeah, you can kind of see the difference when you're in the vehicle. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. Then when you get down to ground level, then you start seeing uh, where you where you stand, like stand here, and uh, it gets it gets a little lenient. Uh, but if we fly on up here, you can see we're not that far from uh, well, what will be our beach in the near future? Uh, well, well, we we should get down there today, uh, but there won't be no beach. Uh, you can kind of see the road as it is now. Uh, there we are, and you can kind of see the road out there. I think I need to cut down that corner just a little bit and uh, make it more straighter. I didn't realize I made that uh, sharp of a turn. But uh, there we are. And now we own some more land because this was it. I couldn't go any further. So let's fire up the tree harvester. Turn it on. And uh, let's see if I can kind of get my way down there um, and see what's going on here. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this road in here. I may have to level out and like have cliffs on either side or something because it is getting rather steep in here. Uh, I was up to $441,000 into the bank account, but, um, yep, now we're, now we're a little, a little, a little more broke. Well, we're not broke. Uh, a little less money is what I should be saying. Yeah, because we don't have a loan or anything. So just a little bit less cash, but now I can cut down some more trees down towards the, the, uh, lakefront, beachfront, whatever you want to call it. And once we get down there and we get, actually get the road, I'm going to have a lot of trees to cut down there because, um... I kind of have an idea or a plan of what I like to do. I just don't know if I can do it. Um, I'm trying to make this like a city skyline kind of a, <laughs> kind of a map at this point where I just want to build build things and maybe I can't. Um, yeah, I, I need to do some more research if I can do what I want to do down there. And I don't think I can, but we'll see what happens. I've never really done any landscaping where there's a body of water. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when I get down there and try it. So we'll see. Uh, but our goal for today only is, well, let's get down there. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, moving forward. Uh, I'm just cutting trees as I go. Sometimes I just see a tree. I'm like, yep, that one's got to go. When I see the these dead trees, it's like, yep, you, you, need to, you need to be chopped down. Chop suey, and there it goes. Oh, wow, is it that steep right there? That's pulling my harvester actually down the hill. All right. Yeah, so right now, like I said, um, I don't plan on selling any of the wood. I just wanted to just bully my way on down to the beach. I'll take care of the stumps and the logs later, unless it gets too crowded in here, which it may be. Uh, <laughs> it very well could. Now, I'm not going to say it's not steep here, but uh, when you cut the trees and then the logs roll down the hill, yeah, it's <laughs> it's getting it's getting steeper. Um, I just had the drone up again just to make sure I'm going in the direction I want to, and I am. So yeah, we're just got to we're just going to have to uh, put a cliff in here. I would assume it would be interesting to see how I can build some houses in here, or excuse me, uh, that Shane can build some houses in here. Uh, that's going to be his, uh, that's his job. Uh, my job is just to get the land open, I suppose. We'll figure it out later. Uh, landscaping could get rather expensive, putting the road in through here. Or, like I said, once we get down there, maybe I'll find a different way to bring a road. Just because I'm, quote-unquote, making a road through here doesn't mean I have to put the road in through here. We can always change it up. At least this will give us access. That's all we need is access for now. No, don't, don't you dare tip over on me now. Uh, a little nervous about coming in here and grabbing the logs later on with the logging trailer, so I may only do half loads when I get in here because I'm pretty sure for of an angle it's going to be at uh, the truck may tip over with all the weight on one side or the other. Yeah, definitely want to get rid of these dead trees. Might have some pine beetles in them. So let's get rid of these trees as soon as we can before they go and infect other trees.
You know, it's rather steep. That's as low as I can really go with the tree harvester on that side. And yeah, I'm not anywhere near the ground. But really, I just had the drone up, and we're not really that far from, from the waterfront. So when I get down there, um, like I said, I kind of had a sneak peek with the drone, what it looked like. Not much. There's no, like, sand around the water that I could see. Just a lot of trees and forest, but once I get down there, yeah, there'll be a lot less of it. I thought I saw some raindrops, and yeah, it is. It is starting to rain. Again. <laughs> yeah, the crops, uh, if there were crops, there was the crops never dried from yesterday's rain. Ah, oh, man. There is a setting in Seasons, by the way, in case you didn't know, but you can go in and turn off the crop moisture. So I think when if you turn off the crop moisture, it'll be the same as it was in-game to where... Yeah, you still don't. You still won't be able, You shouldn't harvest when it's raining. Uh, but once it's done raining, you're not going to have that crop moisture symbol like we have right now. Uh, it'll be just like a few minutes after it finishes raining, then you'll be fine. But I leave that on. See if I can show it to you here in a second. Uh, it's been a long time since I looked at. It. I think. I mean, I haven't looked at it until I started seasons on Hazard County. So I was back in October. But if we activate Seasons, and we go to Settings, Crop Moisture right here. Uh, disallow uh, threshing when crops have excessive moisture of 20% or more. So if you turn that off, yeah, you can harvest or, or do anything when the... Just after it rains, it doesn't matter if the crops are like 80% wet or whatever. You can go ahead and harvest. So you just got to turn that off. But we're going to leave it on. And that tree cutter has saved me how many times so far from tipping over. And now I'm up on a tree stump that I shouldn't be on. Can we get over that? There we go. Yeah, it is steep in here. I probably should have went down the ravine and worked my way through, but... Yep, here I am. I think if I worked my way down to the ravine, it might have been too steep of a turn than, like, straight downhill. Not sure tourists would like that too much. is just really steep where I am right now. Maybe I better get the drone back out and see what kind of a path area I should be taking right now. So let's jump on out. Put the drone up. Yeah, we are just about there. Um, it is kind of hard to see if it's leveling out or not anywhere. Got too close to the vehicle. I think if I go a little bit more to the left, it may be okay. More mo more okay, I guess. <laughs> Not completely, but it's still got a, a slope to it. Then, like I said, once I get down there, I'm going to... If we get down there really quick, I'm going to start creating a big area, and we're going to start clearing out all the trees along the lakeside. Just to see what we're dealing with. Get a nice big area worked out. Then bring down the case puma. Then cut down some stumps. I've heard you cut twice. There it goes. So I will have my work cut up for me down here this summer. Cutting down some trees. I like to get uh, a beachfront on both sides. But it's good that we bought the extra piece of land. And I still have roughly $200,000 in the bank account. I may have to buy another piece of land over here because it doesn't buy all the lakefront property over here. But 
Because that's look at all the money I'm cutting down anyways for the trees. Usually at best what I, I try to tell myself is every time I go to the sawmill I get like $20,000. Uh, sometimes I get twenty five, and So I just tell myself every five loads I'll get a hundred grand. Which we are going to need shortly because Wayne told me my harvester is probably going to arrive in about a day or so. I don't have to pay for the harvester, but uh, while the harvest is there, I think the headers are coming along with it. And I rather, I don't want to get the harvester and not the headers and not to bring the harvester back down to pick up the headers. And yet, the harvester will be too big for the fields that we have for the first season, but hopefully next year it won't be it won't seem as ridiculous. Fields will be a little bit bigger. Well, not the one at the farm. Um, let's see. I'm trying to picture my fields out. Not the one by the farm. Uh, not the one so much behind our silo. But the one next to Elaine's house is probably going to get bigger. And, of course, our cornfield will get a little bit bigger as well. I heard you cut. I really don't want to use a drone anymore because I want to be more of a surprise when we get there. Kind of like when we went down in the first few episodes and we were making our way down to the sawmill the first time. So I don't want to look at the map anymore. I just want to be able to see it through the trees and be like, oh, there it is. So eventually we're just going to keep cutting through here and be like, I see blue stuff. I can tell it must be getting kind of close because it's starting to flatten out a little bit in here. Kind of see if I get lower to the ground. Yeah, it's flattening out a little bit. I wonder if there's going to be any trees in the lake as well. And how deep can I go with this before I have some issues? So I'm probably actually not going to be able to cut any of the trees down up by a cornfield and extend that until after we do the harvest. Because I don't want to be driving around there cutting down trees and having trees fall on our crop. That would not be a good thing. So that's probably like a late fall winter project that we'll have going for us. But in the meantime, I got a lot of work I can do down here now with all this extra land. Time to deforest this place a little bit more. Too close to the tree. There you go. Yeah, but it's going to be fun, like I said, getting the, the Volvo truck down here with the trailer. It's going to be kind of a steep angle, so... Yeah, I'm not going to have to take my time getting the logs out of here. Try to tell myself to cut back on the loads a little bit. Nice and flat right here, so I got it. I wonder if I'm in the ravine right now, which I could be. One thing I probably should be checking out as well because I do have to fertilize our crops. Well, the only crop I got left to fertilize is the corn. I just have to wait for it to hit the first growth stage and I can give it uh, some fertilization. And then the problem is, is next time I go to fertilize it, if I do, I better get a tractor or at least one that has narrow tires on it. I still haven't heard nothing about the T6 down at the 
mechanical building, a mechanical shop. I see it's still sitting in there, so... <gasps> Wait, I do see... The... Yeah, I think I see the water through the trees right here. You may have saw, seen it before I have, but it's right there. Definitely need to bring the case puma down through here and start cutting up some of these some of these stumps. So if the water's right there, probably right where we are right here is probably like an area I'm just gonna clear out completely. But let's get right down to the waterfront and see what we can see by clearing out some of these trees. Now it looks like there are some trees in the water. Uh, the good thing about this uh, tree harvester is it sits kind of high. The exhaust is kind of high. But I do not know where the intake is for the, the engine. So I don't want to go deeper than that because then I'll be sucking in water to the engine and... Well, you know. That's not good for anything. Like I said, though, once I get a little bit further out of the water, uh, towards the water area, um, there is another section of land that we do not own. But I don't think that land is that expensive. I could actually probably buy it now. But I'm going to hold off onto that for a little bit. Because you never know what you need the cash for. And I don't want to buy the land. Need cash. Yes, I can take out a loan, but I'd rather not uh, go see the bank if I don't have to. But we are at the water. Might have to cut the stumps a little bit higher than that because I, the case Puma is going to have to go in there and clear out some stumps. This is kind of looking, looking like a little bit of a, like a maybe like a lagoon maybe. Tell you what, since we're down here now, let's go ahead and jump on out. And what are we looking at here? Uh, yeah, so I'm not really, this is like a little bit of a lagoon before we get to the water. So I need to work on either side of this lagoon before we get to the main body of water. But overall, this is not a bad place for clearing out a little bit so that wasn't too hard getting a road down from here from the police station but as we saw some landscaping will need to be done probably have a, uh, some cliffs like we do over by the salvage yard the scrap yard I haven't really looked at the forecast lately, but seems like uh, this geo likes it to rain quite a bit. I did get a little excited because on the mod hub the other day, I think that's why I recorded the Pacific Northwest. I don't think I mentioned it in yesterday's video. Uh, um, I thought I had the perfect, I was going to switch geos again. Only because we are playing, the, the geo that we have now is south of, Qu of Quebec, and we are playing on the Green Mountain Forest map. But there was a geo for the geo of Vermont, and I was like, well, that's, that's what I need. Until I looked at the geo, and I'm like, well, that's, that's not the geo I need. Um, I don't quite get the geo at all, because in the geo, it won't, there's no season for planting corn or potatoes. And I'm like, um... Why not? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we grow, we we have potatoes and corn here, so definitely corn. 
definitely corn, so I don't I was a little lost on why there's no season to plant corn. Oh, should I drive the track uh the tree harvester in there? Into the water, I mean. I don't know. That might be soft mud in there, or it could be just really compacted dirt. How deep are we going? I don't think we're going that deep. So depending on how it looks, I may fill this lagoon in. Raise it up a little bit. Definitely got to get rid of all these dead trees around here because, you know, this is going to be a tourist area. And you really don't want dead trees around here. Now, hopefully this, this beach area, what I have planned for, hopefully my terrible building skills will, will come in handy and make it, make it look like a little bit of a beach resort. Which is kind of hard to find mods for a beach resort, but... We'll see what we can do. Because most of the houses you find on mod, mod sites or whatever, it's for sleep triggers. And of course, you can only have one sleep trigger on a map at a time. So there's some houses like, oh, they look really good. And you think, oh, well, that's a sleep trigger. I can't, I already got one. And if you say, well, get rid of the one you have and put one down here, it's like, well, that's fine. But still, I can only have one. I can't build the same house over and over and over again. I'll definitely get my money back from buying the slam uh, trees we're cutting down. Because there's going to be a lot I need to cut down in here. I'm getting us a little bit excited for the fall season to come along. I'm not rushing the seasons along, but to get our first harvest in, that's going to be fun. Although it won't take us long, but it's going to be fun. Almost two years on a map before you cut, you know, harvest your first crop. Not counting trees, of course. And by then, we should have our horse stable down. And we'll be taking care of the three brothers and the sisters' horses. Like I said, about four or five horses, they said. My job is just to feed them and give them a place to stay. Uh, come on, you gonna cut? Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit crowded down here. But I want to clear out a little bit more. Just so we can get a better view of this beautiful little lagoon. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna log, uh, haul the logs out of here off camera because I can see that truck maybe tipping over a few times and only be able to take half loads out of here. I may uh, I may get a little bit of a trucker's mouth going getting taking stuff in and out of here. So maybe what I need to do is once I clear out the road mostly is widen the road if I decide to keep the road there. Uh, flatten out the area a little bit and make it a little bit smoother for the truck to go in and out of here. But this is not the only road that's going to be coming on down here, so um, we're going to make another road from here on up and around and probably come out by the shop. That's kind of what I like to do. I really haven't looked at the map for it, but uh, the thought crossed my mind when I bought the land. 
So we already, got, we already have one circle going past our farm, down around towards the scrapyard to the sawmill, up and around the police station, back out to our farm. Uh, this, this road, of course, you know, comes out by the police station, comes down here, and I want to loop around and go, go up by the shop. Um, hopefully that is something, it might be just as steep for what we just did, but we can give it a shot. This water doesn't appear to be that deep here. Yeah, that's not. I just want to make sure. I don't want to drive it too deep, and also get the symbol that says um, "Don't you know? Don't drive in too deep." It's been a long time since I drove a tractor and farming simulator into deep water, so I don't know if you get a warning before you drive in too deep, or does it's like does the engine just shut off and saying, um, "Hey, idiot." What are you doing? You can't drive in water. Hopefully it's not a deep spot here. Nah, this is this is all fine. This is all fine. We're good. Matter of fact, even the Volvo truck would have no problem driving through this. I don't think the case Puma's gonna either. The only thing is I'm dropping the logs in the water, so. So I'm going to have a little bit of a cleanup job to do afterwards. I don't want to say we really reached the waterfront just yet because like I said, I'm not sure if this lagoon is going to stay here. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad maybe to keep the, like this lagoon here. This might be a good little spot for like... Uh, for like a kiddie swimming area for kids to go in because the water's not that deep. Just have to put some sand around here. Some other things. And it probably wouldn't hurt in the future once I get things going. Maybe I could put like another fruit, uh, fruit stand, but a, a farm stand down here. I don't know, I keep thinking, I keep arguing with myself, I keep saying I don't want to do chickens, I don't want to do chickens. Because in seasons, chickens don't really seem to produce that many eggs. But chickens are so simple to take care of, that maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. But that would be something I'd have to wait, well, I don't have to wait for it, we could always start raising some chickens and buy the chicken feed. I don't know if that would be through Wayne or Elaine. Let's step on out here and put the drone up, drone on up, just because we got a little bit of the area cleared out now. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so does it actually connect with the other main body of water or it doesn't? Uh, no, it doesn't. That gets steep. Uh, yeah, that's pretty deep right through there. So I got to be careful when I start cutting trees down and around out through there. Uh, I, I don't know how far out that we own to, but there's, like I said, another uh, piece of property out there that we don't own. But I think what I need to do is just focus on around this body of water for now. So let me go ahead and get some more trees cut around this body of land here. Or body of water. Land, water, whatever. It's all the same. No, it's not. Uh, well, let me go ahead and clear this out. And uh, we'll see how far we do own. Uh, see if I can get that far at least. Uh, but I would like to get to the main body of water if I can. Well, a little bit of a progress update. Um, the forecast said, well, it's going to be switching the clouds soon. And when that came up, 
the rain started coming down harder. Plus, uh, we're getting past 6 o'clock in the, well, I should say evening. Um, but I don't think it's going to get dark and tip for like another three in-game hours. So we're getting along just nicely so far. And I'm just probably going to keep on going till about dark. And then probably day three of summer will be, well, um, probably turn the tree harvester around. And maybe start working the road that comes on down here. First, I'll clear up the path from where we left off uh, so I can get the truck down here. But then make the road wider and maybe put the road in. And then I could really... You don't have access to this land. So I guess uh, I was ready. I was, getting, <laughs> I was getting to the point of saying, uh, I don't know how much further I can go here. Yeah, I don't own any further. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why am I getting stuck on that? That's not good. Uh, can I turn that around and uh, back up a little bit? Not into the lake, though. Not into the lake. All right, so I guess that answers my question of uh, I'll just keep going until dark. Um, let's go ahead and just jump on up here so we can kind of see where we're at. And that's where we're at. Uh, cutting down one side and there's the other little pond area, if you will. I'm thinking we'll fill this in. Or I could... Or what we could... Hmm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not filling that in. No, no. No, no, no. I think I got... I got another idea. Um, probably won't work, but I got another idea. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to say what it is yet. I, I may not do... I may just uh, do it all up and then show you my idea afterwards what I plan on doing with that. But anywho, we are down here finally at the lakeside. Uh, slowly working on one side. Uh, I'll have to see how much that land is on the other side, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I think I got enough work to do. Uh, I can clear out that side as well. Do I want to go on that peninsula and get rid of those trees? Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, I mean, I got a lot of trees to cut along up in here. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to want to move in. Uh, I'm not going to figure out how I want to do that. Because uh, we're, we're making money fine on this map. I don't have a loan to pay off. I own, I'm getting land easily now because of the lumber, so I think we'll just put the houses in and I won't actually earn any money from it. We'll just start decorating up the, just start decorating the map as best as I can with what I have at my, uh, at my hands here. Um, I may even dab into Giant's Editor, which, let me just say, um, yeah, Giant's Editor and me do not get along, uh, so we'll see. Uh, so there's the road, the row ad. That I got to clear up. I got to clear up all these stumps. Uh, get the truck down here. Start clearing out some of this. So, yeah, I think day three will be pretty much, at least in the morning hours, uh, clear up the road a little bit. Maybe clear up a little bit of this and maybe get the tree harvester back in here and widen this road if it seems okay. And then maybe start landscaping it a little bit. I don't know how much landscaping I can do uh to make it look decent but i'll give it a shot uh i didn't do as well as i thought i could at the scrapyard road but yeah it's a little little bit of an angle here i can flatten this out somewhat yeah i'll, I'll see yeah see my drone's flying level and i'm already at the ground and uh this is what we started today right up here right up here uh yeah it's a little i'll have to flatten this out as well so i'm gonna have a lot of landscaping money into this i think yeah, I'll have to bring the uh, construction, uh, road construction crew in and see what they have to think about it. But not too bad. We are finally down at the lakeside, beachfront, whatever you want to call it, with a lot of trees. Uh, I've got to lumber the heck out of this down here. and Yeah, you just picture houses on both sides and see what I can do. Uh, some landscaping, of course, you know, bringing in some sand for the beaches. Uh, like I said, i got an idea for this little place right here. Hopefully I can do it up nice and nice and well. But let's celebrate <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I will have to keep track of my crops. I think on day three, I'll head up to the cornfield or maybe this evening. So I still got some time this evening. Yeah, this evening I'll go check on the cornfield. But probably have to check out on the third day of summer as well. If it hasn't grown already. Not going to take as long to fertilize if I have to. Uh, I do believe the Case International I left at the farm the other, uh, in last episode. But yeah, I am getting the trees out of here a little bit. It's not too steep here. You can still see grass, but then I think it uh, I think it gets a little bit deeper in there. Who knows? 
But there we have it. We are at the lake. And that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here on Green Mountain Forest. But until then, have a good one.